YouTube, hello, welcome to Ahsoka Episode 3 Reaction Video. I'm excited to keep going. A lot of theories been brewing around about where Ezra and Thrawn are, who the mysterious Inquisitor is. There's a lot going on. I've already seen that the, the map and the credits have already been decrypted and translated into English, at least mostly. I've seen some people say that Ezra is Maroc, the Inquisitor, and that doesn't make sense. What? No, Ezra and Thrawn left the system, or I guess the galaxy, together. They were on the bridge together when the Pergil pulled them into hyperspace. I don't think the Inquisitor is Ezra if Morgan and Balin and Shin are looking for Thrawn. Uh, th that doesn't make sense. I have seen that Maroc is actually Galen Merrick, otherwise known as Starkiller, who was in the Force Unleashed games, who was Darth Vader's secret apprentice. Now, this is very interesting because Dave Filoni has talked about bringing Starkiller into canon. And for those of you who don't know who Starkiller is, Starkiller was played by Sam Witwer. I mean, these days, who knows, if they ever used the character, it would probably be some other version. Because I know that Dave, for example, was thinking for a second that he might be an Inquisitor. Um, but then they moved okay. away from that idea. But I remember him saying, he's like, yeah, you know, we were we were really actually talking about Starkiller being an Inquisitor. Because that's what he does is, in fact, the Inquisitor thing. He is the voice of Maul throughout the Clone Wars and Rebels. And even in the solo cameo as well. However, his introduction to Star Wars was the Force Unleashed games, where he mo-capped for Starkiller. It looks like somebody put Sam Witwer inside a video game. And he also voices the Emperor in that video game, and it's so good. You were destined to destroy me. Do it. Give in to your hatred. I think the reason this sparked up is because... In the last episode, Sam Witwer was credited for additional voices, and there was some live stream where he said he couldn't talk about the Ahsoka series because he was involved with it a little bit, and he can't talk about it because of the strike and whatnot. Look, I, as it's part of the strike, I can't really talk about stuff like that, except for there's a show that I watched and I really liked it. syndicate members in the area. Really I like it. I don't know what the, the rules are. I mean, it, honestly, like, it's, I didn't... Most of all, I was just about to say I didn't work on Ahsoka, but I did, so... I, yeah, I don't think I can say anything, guys. But, uh, Sarah proud of Dave. From the firm. I love Dave. I, I don't know. It's it's an interesting theory. I think it would be really cool to see, basically, Anakin's apprentice versus Darth Vader's apprentice. I think that'd be kind of sick. However, Starkiller was always overpowered, and that's an understatement. Anyways... That's that. There's a couple of theories going around. We'll see how true they turn out to be. I'm just going to get right into the episode. Because I want to watch this. So let's get into this right now. The droids. They took the map. Of course they took the map, Sabine. Like, she told you not to leave. This droid came here and then you left. I have known many Padawans. Your aptitude for the Force would fall short of them all. Just Thanks. a quick reminder that she's not force sensitive. Well done, Chuck. Now, I'm very curious to know if that, because I've also seen that that scene wasn't just like a recreation of the moment, but that Dave Filoni just changed canon basically again and the moment that we saw at the end of rebels was that scene that we just saw in the last episode i am not too thrilled about that i like the idea that ahsoka and sabine went on that search while she was in the white robes and the pole and whatnot i don't know it's just annoying when dave filoni constantly changes canon well your skill with a weapon comes from your mandalorian upbringing those skills alone will not be enough to defeat our enemy. But you must also open your mind. Learning to wield the Force takes a deeper commitment. I like how they kind of parallel Kanan teaching her in fight. Rebels. 
Maybe I'm trying to do things differently this time. Or maybe because she doesn't have the Force, you don't believe she can do this? No. The Force resides in all living things, but you have to be open to it. Sabine is blocked. Her mind is conflicted. She's so expressive and yet so tightly wound. She's so... Mandalorian. Ugh, very. You cannot rely solely on the blade. You must use all your skills together. <laughs> I want you to see with more than just your eyes. Oh, and I love this parallel to Luke on the Falcon. Okay. <laughs> with the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. This is some interesting Jedi training. It's almost like she's getting like delayed reactions. No, she's just blind, she can't see. I'm waiting for Ahsoka to knock her on her ass. There it is. Well done. You'll hate it, but it's worth it. Let's go again. All right. It's like uh, she's doing what Anakin did. Time to fly. Aggressive training on your student prepares them for the worst. Let's go again. Oh, love that fleet. Is this above Coruscant? The Chancellor? She's waiting. There are several senators with her. One of them is Yoda. How's young Jason? Fine, Chancellor. In fact, he's on board. Somewhere. <laughs> Causing trouble with Chopper, no doubt. Most likely. Forgive me, Madam Chancellor, but if we could just hear the- Oh, uh, are we gonna see Jason in this is. episode? Quite right, Senator Ziona. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Mm. The big bad. He disappeared years ago. Ezra vanished while fighting Thrawn and that you conveniently use a threat of Thrawn's return to acquire those resources that could be put to a more practical purpose. Who is this the asshole? people of our fledgling Republic. Thrawn is not your typical Imperial officer. No, he's like a James Bond on I know crack. because I fought against him. Grand Admiral Thrawn is dead. No, he's not. And I'm sorry to say it is my opinion that your friend Ezra Bridger heroically died with him. You don't know I, that. Yeah, General. I doubt that. That went well. Hey, Mom! Mom! There he is. Is it true Aunt Sabine is going to be a Jedi? I want to be a Jedi. Yeah, I know you do, Jason. Oh. But she doesn't it's want well you said. to because it's dangerous and okay, Kanan died. And all the Jedi are basically well, dead. <laughs> God, that would be really bad if Hera put Jason in Luke's me. school and then just... Kylo happened. It'd be cool if Sabine trained him. I know. But I, just... I don't think so. I don't know why. I just she's looking at the cup, and I'm immediately thinking of Ezra trying to lift. I think it was a cup or a bowl or something, and Chopper just like fucks with him. So I suppose you do come from a long line of non-traditional Jedi. In that way, she fits right in. Yeah, I guess so. Anakin. Yeah, I didn't expect that. You win this round. <laughs> that was a really funny shot before I cut away. Standard Jedi mission protocol when approaching an unknown situation in order to avoid enemy surveillance. He's still doing this? Programming. Hmm. Right. In, In every case, droid. My love.
Oh boy. Tailgun check in. I see you got rid of my presets. I never needed them. What <laughs> you say? <laughs> That's funny. Sabine would be the person to uh, not so have free. default free. settings. Missed. I had them, but missed. Don't worry about it. You'll get them. You had them. Oh, here we go. Well done. Good work. Don't get cocky. We should be able to make visual confirmation now. Oh, yeah, there it is. If I had to guess, I would say it is some sort of hyperspace ring. See if you can get a little closer. Are you crosswire? Closer, please. That's fucking funny. Just a moment. Scan complete. Destroyed. They are off our scope. <laughs> yeah, not destroyed. Work fast. I'm going out there. Out there? Out where? Just keep working. I'll distract them. Wait. Tell me this bitch is going in a spacesuit. We have them. And she's. No way she's gonna. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's a great shot. Nice job. I'm tracking something up ahead. Another ship? No. What? What is it? Oh my god, is it the Pergil? <gasps> Space whales! Oh my god, they actually look like fucking whales. They look like blue whales. Holy shit. And I love how they use the same music, too. Where are they? I just realized the... The head thing, headset, communicator. It's the same shit that, like, Obi-Wan had and Anakin had in the prequels. <sighs> we almost died. Multiple times. Ah, yes. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> oh my god. There's a clear opening in the trees. And they just don't see it. The Jedi Archives speak of intergalactic hyperspace lanes between galaxies, which used to follow the migration paths of star whales named Purgle. Huh. Like the ones we just saw. Really? When? <laughs> it's funny because he was awesome. Oh, I can't wait for your fight with Ahsoka. Oh, that's it? Damn. Short episode. Still very well done. This show just keeps getting better and better. This was not a bad episode in any way except length. Just because I want more. <laughs> yeah, I could still believe Maroc is Starkiller just because when Starkiller goes to the dark side and becomes like an agent of Sidious, and he's in that mask, and he sounds like that. Similar. So, it could just be Sam Witwer's voice. It could be somebody else's voice. And Sam Witwer just did work on something else. Or it could just be his voice and, and not Starkiller. It doesn't have to be Starkiller. Honestly, I don't think it is. I just think it would be really cool if it was. That was a fun episode. I really like seeing Jason live action. That was really cool. And yeah, I, I understand they didn't really need to make his ears green. That was a weird choice for the animators. 
cool. He kept his hair green and just made it longer. And I like that moment when he said he wanted to be a Jedi. <sighs> yeah. Well. This was fun. It was short. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. Appreciate everybody coming out to watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, stay notified for reaction videos and for any time I stream. Also, any edits I do. Just, I do whenever I can, so that's why you should stay subscribed, be notified of when stuff gets uploaded. Alright, that's it. Love you all. Have a good night, good day, wherever you are. Peace out. Have a good one.